What's up guys? This is gonna be a bit of a different video today, okay? This car has some sentimental value to me. I've owned it for a long time. Those of you that are subscribed to me understand that I'm a huge Honda guy, obviously. That's what I built my life on is these cars, okay? I've had this car a while. I have a personal collection of cars that uh, I keep that usually aren't for sale. But uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys. This car, I've had it for, like I say, I've, I've had it for a while now and it is a mint example of one of these. This is a 1993 Civic CX hatchback, okay? So it is white, frost white, great color. It's completely original, end to end. Okay, this is the nicest one that I have seen in all my years. That's why when I bought it, I just decided never to sell it. Um, no passenger mirror, no radio, no air conditioning. It is the base base of all base. This car is seriously mint. I'd even go to say it's one of the nicest ones left in existence. Okay, it's 93, so it's got palmy blue interior. No rips, mint condition. I have not washed this car ever. It is strictly sat in my warehouse on display and I have never washed it. All the original booklets, everything is included. So funny story of how I actually got this car. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty well known for what I do at this point. I've been doing this a long time. I recently started YouTube maybe about two to three years ago. Strictly started the YouTube videos just to make my life easier because usually when I sell cars, people always ask for videos, whether they're out of state, out of country. Hey, you got a video of it? So I started doing videos on uh, every car that I've sold since then. And uh, it kind of blew up. I've got a lot of uh, lovers out there. I love you guys. Appreciate all the love. Some of you that hate me, but that's okay too. Anyway, this car is mint. So he uh, actually, this guy calls me, says, hey, Spencer. I was uh, given your contact information by a fellow friend of mine. Uh, my 87 year old grandmother passed away and I have her Honda Civic. I said, okay, he goes, come see it. You know, we got to get rid of all of her estate. Everything's got to go. I said, okay. So I drive down there, it was the day after Christmas. I mean, look at the condition of the California plate. I drive down there, and this is the original Civic CX sticker. It's still shiny. Anyway, so I drove down there, and uh, I took one look at it and went, holy cow, this is the nicest one I've ever seen. So this lady was 87 years old. She passed away. She was driving stick shift up until two weeks before she died. She went into the hospital, declined quickly, and passed away. So he uh, sold me her car, and I've kept it long enough. Um, I got to get rid of some of my stuff. I could use the money right now. Trust me, I, I really don't want to sell this car. Like, in all my years, I have never, ever, ever, ever seen one that looks like this. Okay, we'll get to the rest of the car. It is, this is the lightest trim ever made. The CX, I mean, if you guys know anything about these cars, look at this, the condition of the stick shift. The radio block off, the no air conditioning. Like the list just goes on. It's all original glass, has a cargo package tray, which none of them have at this point anymore. I mean, look at the muffler. Look how, look how clean the muffler is. This car has no rust, zero rust. This car has never, so it has also never spent its life outside of the garage. This has always been in the garage, period. Since day one, it has always been in the garage. I mean, the paint, like I said, some of you guys know about these cars like I do. And there's certain things that give you the showing the fact that the car's been in the garage. Look at the moldings. Those are the original black moldings. Look at the wiper arms, not faded. I mean, look at the condition of the dash, the VIN, all that stuff. No radio, never had it. I mean, look at the seat. Very little wear. Door handle, like everything about this car is truly amazing. Like, it really is a time capsule. Door panels. I know some of you hate palmy blue, but I mean, look at it. 119,000 miles. You can see where her uh, like nails were tapping this every time she re reset the speedo. It's little scratch marks, but I didn't I didn't clean it or anything like that because it shows the story of the car. Like the condition is just insane. The shift knob is what tells it all. 
see it. I mean, everything is just mint. I pop everything. I mean, look at the condition of the stickers. I mean, the list just goes on, man. The gas door, the fuel door, look at the stickers. Look at the condition of this car. I challenge any one of my followers to find a nicer one. If you can, awesome. I recommend you buy it. This car truly is very, I'd say there's not many, it's hardly, if even one left like this. I have all the original palmy blue floor mats, the front original California plate. Look at the condition of the plates. Like these plates usually fade if you look at them wrong. Even the cargo cover, which is never there. So clean, it just closes. Like, it just, like, with ease. I can't even explain it. If you guys know, you know these cars are just, all of them have been so ran through at this point, used. They're, I mean, they're, this car is over 30 years old. It's a 1993. Only has one mirror. How funny is that? One airbag since it's a 93, so it doesn't have the dash airbag. I mean, look at the steelies. So clean. Front bumper plugs. I mean, this car is just crazy. But yeah, I mean, the torque marks on everything still, the bolts are still gold. How many times do you see a Honda with bolts that are still gold. Everything is still gold. All the torque marks, this car has never been touched. AC bracket, if you wanted to add AC, is literally shining. When do you ever see that? Original radiator, AAA battery. I mean, look at the gold on this car. It truly is incredible. Torque marks, everything. Look at, look at that. Seriously, guys, tell me when the last time you saw one like this was. I mean, look at all the condition of everything. It's gold. This is the original finished valve cover, and it's like shiny and vibrant. Sticker on the timing cover. But there's so many things about this car. Look, AC block off plate. And I have not cleaned this car since I got it. labels I mean like the rubber still plush even the I don't think you can see in there but even the cow that's that's where the windshield wipers are those bolts always corrode like look at the condition of the cow it's mint seriously This is going to be the longest video I've ever done because honestly, there's a little part of me that's I pulled the car out today. I've been telling myself for the past month I'm going to sell it, right? and I just haven't been able to bring myself to do it. I don't know, but it's interesting times right now, guys, and just I could use the money. I'm really, really sad to see this one go out of every car I've ever owned in my life. Other than my NSX, but that was 10 years ago, I would say this is sad they made a lot of these cars a lot of them thousands and thousands and thousands of them right but seriously sit back and think how many of them survived and how many of them are left in this condition seriously none i don't i don't think there's one nicer i really don't and it's a clean title um, one owner carfax you can run the plate the carfax is seriously one owner um, it's never had any other owner other than me i did not put it in my name I kept it one owner as it was part of my collection. I didn't want to ruin that one ownership history of the car. So it is not in my name. I still have the original pink slip from the lady's estate um, that passed away. She's 87 years old. It's crazy that, you know, an 87 year old lady was driving manual up for this long. But, I mean, it still has the rubbers. Look at the rubbers, like everything. This car is, it truly is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Underbody shot. I mean, look at look at the underside of this car. Look at the oil pan. Look at the bolt. 
No leaks of any kind. No rust at all. But should we take it for a drive? We can take it for a drive. So it's a CX, no tachometer. Slowest car on the earth. I think it has 70 horsepower. Let's take her for a little spin. Let's turn the AC on. Wait, no air conditioning. <laughs> it's like, it is set up for it though. No power, or, excuse me, no side mirrors is such a weird concept. It's funny to me that uh, Honda actually sold cars without mirrors. You had to purchase the mirror for extra money. Like, you had to purchase the radio for extra money. You had to purchase the air conditioning for extra money. Like, isn't that crazy? It's also crazy, this car only has one airbag. So 92, 93s only have a single driver's side airbag and no passenger side. It's very interesting for this car to go. 119k over a 30 year period of time driven by an 87 year old lady you know people say barn fine old lady grandma fine this is the real deal guys i mean i you know just driving the car the suspension is completely original and it's smooth the car tracks straight like it just drives well there's no rumbles rattles usually eg hatches rattle you know the little tin cans this car does not rattle it does not shake it does not pull the brakes don't shake nothing the car is truly gorgeous this car also achieves like over 40 on the freeway since it's a cx lightweight i think this car weighs 2297 pounds someone correct me if i'm wrong but uh yeah it doesn't have a clock forgot to mention that too no clock no creaks the engine just ah oh, it's crazy 10 years from now i will look back on this video and go what a dumb 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 can't say what i want to say but this youtube might not like it but what a dumb dumb you know i hope the person that buys this car cherishes it like i have um i honestly i don't want to sell it to someone that's going to swap it because that's the problem most of these are swapped just to find one that's pure and straight like this it's crazy this is the longest video I've ever done. This car just means a lot to me and I'm, I'm gonna be really sad to see it go. I'm not gonna give it away. So, you know, you guys can call me crazy. I'm gonna ask 10.5 for it. I really don't care. People can say, you're out of your mind, Spencer. You're stupid. You're just not smart. You'll never get that for it. But you know, at the end of the day, it's worth what someone will pay. And if there's someone out there that sees the value like I do in this car and understands the condition that it is in, they will pay me the money only due to the sole fact because this car may be one of one, not one of a million or one of however we're made, but one of one in the current condition that it's in. Um, so, Also guys, my Instagram, Spencer's Hondas. I know I say this every time, but I continue to get people ask me almost every day, Spencer, how do I get a hold of you? And I say, number one, go to my Instagram, text me, call me. Or if you know someone that has Instagram, have them reach out to me, text me, call me. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, appreciate it. I love all the support. You know, I got some haters, but that's how it be. Um, I love all the support from the people that support me and uh, always cheer me up. It's nice to hear, you know, people like, man, you have the nicest cars. I get that comment. It's like, you know, I really appreciate that others see the value in some of the vehicles that I buy. You know, especially like this one. I swear, guys, this is like the most sentimental car I have. But I got to get rid of it. I don't want to, but I got to get rid of it. It really sucks, honestly. But our economic situation isn't as good as it once was. And, you know, I haven't... You guys probably have noticed I haven't been uploading as much and whatnot. Because economic times are fairly rough right now. Things just are uh, slower than they once, once was. Once were, you know. Um, so, anyway... Beautiful waterfall up here. This is American River Canyon outside of Folsom, California. Beautiful area, one of the nicest neighborhoods. Oh, the lady almost ran that. I don't, I don't stop, I don't have a stop sign. But uh, anyway, so thanks guys. I really appreciate all the support, every single one of you. I, I appreciate it and I, I love the positive energy you guys give out when I post videos and Instagram and all that. Anyway, thanks guys. I hope I can find the right home for this car. Take care, bye.